Hi everyone. For my big band, I recently arranged uh, the fantastic song "Made You Look" by Megan Trainer, and um, yeah, so we've got this, this arrangement for big band, and it's all completed, and it's got this vocals, and so I just want to show the band. You know, this is kind of what we expect it to sound like. Maybe we can give the vocalists some tips, and rather than listening to the original, I want them to listen to you know my particular arrangement. Uh, but if I play it. We get ah, ah, oh, 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 which is less than ideal, and, and it can just bug you when you're listening to it. And so, um, once again, we're using Ace Studio, which is this fantastic software that can turn uh, lyrics and MIDI data, essentially, into actual sung lyrics with the power of AI. And it's fantastic. So, uh, here's what it could sound like in the end. Cause I'm about to make a scene, double up as in screen. I'm about to turn the heat up, gonna make your glasses steam. Ooh, tell me what you, what you, what you can do. When I do my walk, walk. Righty. So to get there, we need to do a few things, of course. Uh, and the first thing is we need to prepare the score ready to be used in a studio. And so what the first thing I'm actually going to do is... Um, well, let's save this as a new version because I don't want to edit my arrangement in any way. Uh, so let's put this in AI vocals section and let's call it um, AI vocals. Right, so that we know that, that this is separate and I can you know, do things to this that I wouldn't otherwise do. Now, obviously, I can't just get that AI vocals into MuseScore. Um, we're going to have to get the sound out of MuseScore first and, and Bring that into something else. So let's export the audio from musical. But before that, we don't want that. Ah ha 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 ha. Right. So we need to mute anything we don't want. So this is the alto we need to mute. Uh, I do have a soprano track that I'm not using at the moment. That's for backing vocals. Uh, that was just while I was working to arrange it. And we've got some other things. And let's also mute these chord symbols. Right. Anytime we put chord symbols, they play on the uh, they just play a chord as you hear them. Uh, we don't want that. We want the actual arrangement stuff. Everything else is looking fine. I've had a violin that I muted there as well. We don't need that. Uh, we just want our big band. Right. Then we can go file, export, and let's make this a wave file. Uh, I'll put this in 48 because this is we're doing this for video, but you could just use 41, 44.1 if you wanted. Uh, but 48K suits me. I'm choosing the main score and export. And I'll call this Novox. Okay, great. Now that that's done, uh, now I need to get this vocal line into a studio. And so we essentially need to get rid of everything else. So let's uh, select those and delete them. I did try it first, by the way, just hiding them. Uh, that doesn't work. It still comes out in the export. So we do have to delete everything except the vocal that we need. And there's one more step, and that is, as you can see here, we have some extra notes uh, as well as some bracketed lines. These might be with backup vocals um, or where the, where the vocalist can choose the notes that they're using. And so we just need to make sure that there is only one at a time, otherwise we get some rather uh, unusual things. So I'll just make sure that it's a single line vocal. And we'll also get rid of these brackets, uh, again, because uh, a studio can't process these and it turns into, it just kind of defaults to da, so that's not ideal. Uh, right, let's do that in the rest of the song. This mmm in my testing also didn't come out so well. I'm going to try just two M's uh, and see if that does better. Otherwise, we'll, we'll just go and figure that out. Uh, everything else looks fine. This one will do the top because we've got the that little upbeat. All right, we can save that, and let's export that. Now, this time, instead of a wave, we're going to export as a music XML, as we've done in previous videos. If you want to check out those other videos on a small uh, vocal ensemble or a choir, um, I'll put some links up to those. But we'll export this as MIDI XML, music XML, sorry. Uh, we can call it AI vocals, that's fine. All right, and this music XML, we can now import 
into a studio. So let's go find that folder. Uh, that's this one. And there's the music XML. Drag it in and it's just a single line. Perfect. Do we want to apply tempo and signature? Yes, we do. Fantastic, 4-4 four, four at 140, brilliant. And as always, we start with this uh, Eden Row, Ember Rose, sorry, load it up. Uh, and let's give it a try. Let's hear what we've got. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. All right, so there's definitely some things we need to change. It's not a bad sound, absolutely not, but we're definitely gonna have some fun with it. Uh, first thing though, actually, is we want, the whole point of this was to get the vocals with the band. So here's our Novox audio, and you can see we've got this audio track in a studio. Let's load it up there. And if we just drag it to the beginning, I think if everything worked properly, we should just be able to hear it. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis. Yeah, there it is. Fantastic. We've got everything we need to make this kind of demo backtrack for the band. So that's really useful. Uh, and there are, obviously we can apply effects with this. Uh, we can take, stop it from re wanting to record. Um, we've got compression, de-essing, reverb. None of those are currently turned. Oh, they're all turned on. Interesting. I would imagine we probably are happy with what we're getting from uh, from MuseCore. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. But even with nothing on. Okay. Let's go and see how we can edit this vocal. And I don't think it's going to take us very long. And this is the power of the music XML, is that uh, if we import it as a MIDI file, it would not uh, have all the words you know, in the right spots. Uh, it would break them up and then a studio can't see them as a whole word. It would only see them as individual parts, words. And there's a lot more editing too. So this is nice. Uh, Gucci seems to work well. Apparently that's an English word. But Louis Vuitton uh, comes out as Louis Vuitton, which is interesting. Louis, uh, what does it come out as? Vuitton. So we want Louis Vuitton. Uh, and the easiest way to do this is probably in here. Or Louis. It comes out as Louis. Uh, so let's make it Louis. Let's try this. Louis. And then let's just change this to Vuitton. Let's see how it does with that. We let it figure itself out. There we go. Louis Vuitton. Hmm. Vuitton, Vuitton. Let's see. Could wear my Louis fit in. Uh, nope. Uh, all right, we might need to go and edit this. And let's make it on Vuitton. Vuitton. That's better. But now we need a sharper T. So let's extend that beginning of the T, uh, but we can even have a bit more of the T. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's try and Vuitton. Make a really short V. Obviously, this is this is nitpicking now, right? We know that that it was working fine. Yeah, that works. I like that. Okay, so we've got Vuitton. That's what we're going to need to have. Um, so we can either edit the words sort of underneath here, which is the more user-friendly way, or we can literally edit the, the phonetic, the sort of punctuated word of it. Uh, all right, uh, those are all fine. Let's just hear this. Ladies, if you know me, this your bar, bar. Ah, okay. Uh, I forgot to take out the, the brackets there and bop up. So if we do that, then it should work out again. Let's see. Yeah, that looks better. I could have my Gucci on. Versace. How do we get how do we do with Versace? Yeah, I look good in my Versace. Yeah, pretty good. Versace, I think. Uh, should we make it Versace? Just uh in my Versace dress. Cool. Hoodie, yep, it recognizes hoodie. Okay, now the mmm. -hmm. This is what we were waiting for. Let me in. <laughs> okay, that did not work. Me, yeah. No, we don't want that. Aha, we have a phonemes dictionary. Let's see. Ooh, MV. Mv, mv. 
Let's try that. Yes, that worked. Aha, we got it. Cool. So when in doubt, uh, you can come to this phonemes dictionary that they have on the A Studio Wiki. Very useful, clearly. Uh, good to know some stuff. Let's solo our singer. Yes, perfect. And even gone do comes out really well. Where'd you, where'd you gone do? Yep. There's our bop that we need to fix again. Should have done that in the musical file. Now something else to notice is the bop bop one and bop bop two, uh, and it just separates them out into the, the two things. That's just uh, kind of the way that it... Okay, once you do bop bop, then it's fine. It's happy after that. Give it on, buddy. Yeah, that's much nicer. Okay, let's change those vitons. Give it on. Nice. Look, said I made you look... Great. Uh, so once we're done with the vo vowels, of course, uh, now we want to play with our voices. But actually, we also want to perhaps have some energy changes through this thing. And this is where the energy tab is really cool. So we can just draw in, I think is probably going to be, e be the easiest. Let's start fairly low. Right. And keep it down here kind of have doesn't matter if we have some wobbles that kind of makes it feel natural and then let's go up here to I made you look oh, but I made you look I made you look that's nice bring it down a little bit again for the verse Tell me what you, what you, what you gonna do Ooh. Because they'll do a few things of timing um, But essentially you get the idea Okay, it's time to look at the voice quality now And of course we, we don't want to you know, We're not looking for a Megan Trainer. That's certainly not our intention. We just want to find a voice that we like the sound of and that it suits this particular song. Uh, in the previous video, the first video I did on this, uh, feel free to check that out here, we looked at these first three voices as kind of pop uh, possibilities. We also saw, I think we had Zalo and Jessica. Uh, we haven't checked out Jessica, but Zalo we, we used, I think, to blend with a bit of soul and, and R&B and gospel. Uh, and then we had this Carolyn over here. Oh, there are these epic and dark tones. So there's certainly possibilities. Let's give it this Zalo a try. Just on its own, because we haven't heard that yet. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. But even with nothing on. But I made you look. I made you look. That's quite cool. Weird timing thing there, but uh, but a very nice voice. It's got that richness to it. How about the Jessica sound? I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. But even with nothing on. But I made you look. I made you look. Okay. Not sure how I feel about those. Uh, let's see about an Emma. I suspect again that we'll need to just do some blending um, to get kind of the sound that we want. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing on, but I made you look. Yeah, that's that's more of the folky kind of sound. We got a pop ballad. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis. Yeah, I'm gonna say no to that one. So uh, so far, I'm liking the Ember Rose, the Zalo, and the Jessica. So let's try blend those up together. Uh, so we'll go plus here, we'll add some Emberose, and we'll add some Jessica. And let's see how we can create a blend that works. Uh, what if we do all three of them equally? Now what I've definitely found interesting is that when you blend voices, you kind of take away the, you know, the, the special characteristic that they have, and it becomes far more bland. You know, you, you, you're taking whatever they have similar there'll be more of, and that's not the individual characteristics. So let's give this a try. I could have my Gucci on. 
I could wear my Louis Vuitton, but even with nothing on, but I made you look. That's actually pretty cool. Let's take down those a little bit. On, but I made you look. I make you look. I'll make you double take soon as I walk away. Right, so we've got this potential for blending, which is such a cool idea in their timbre and their style, and obviously we can play around with that hugely, but I'm actually happy with this. Let's hear the final version now. I could have my Gucci on. I could wear my Louis Vuitton. But even with nothing on, but I made you look. I made you look. I'll make you double take. Soon as I walk away, call up your chiropractor just in case your neck breaks. Ooh, tell me what you, what you, what you gonna do. 